Hey y'all, welcome to the Broken Perk Podcast. You're what up? I'm Raphael. I'm your boy Jose. What up? And your boys are just here uh macking it today, man. Yeah. Of course we're gonna talk about some some things that have been going on in the industry, of course. And by industry we mean the gaming industry. But then again, we get into all sorts of things anyway. We don't yeah. we don't usually stay on like one topic, you know. At, at that a lot of the times we just like let stuff flow. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, we just kinda bullshit, to yeah. be honest. You know what? Yeah. We just bullshit. But um I, I like I like letting things flow, you Absolutely. know, because that I I think at least for me and you we just like we get into this like rhythm mm-hmm. or, or whatever you want to call it and we just start talking about subjects and we just go into it and I, I feel like I don't know I feel like we end up talking about like a lot of things that most people don't talk about yeah uh, really you know I like to think of it as like we're putting some kind of like fucking consciousness to the like. I feel like a lot of times when you read like a breakdown on a website, uh, when it comes to one of these gaming stories, like you never really get like the person's opinion unless it's like an opinion piece. Yeah. But like, I don't know. We're two regular dudes. Like, ain't nobody cutting us checks to do this. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so. uh, yeah. Even if we got cut checks, I, like it wouldn't be the kind of checks that I would take if it's if mm-hmm. they said like, but like watch our backs. Yeah. No. You know, forget that. Uh, I can appreciate it though when anyone out there is like that. Like, hey, uh, no, I'm not I gonna can't scratch be your back. Bought. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be fucking bought, bro. I I always I, I like I love I always I always bring this person up every time uh, I think of that you know where that kind of topic comes up. Yeah. Uh, Jim Sterling. Mm. Jim Sterling is like that guy for me. Like he doesn't he's not like a bought dude, and he just kind of shoves like you know tells everyone to shove it type yeah. of thing and i really appreciate that yeah. like that's that's like one person that i'll sit down and like listen to like he yeah, i know he was working with like some kind of like he was working with some gaming company and he just was not doing any kind of work with them anymore after like he uh, criticized like an assassin's creed game actually believe it or not mm. and they were like doing some kind of like deal with like ubisoft or some shit and he was just like <laughs> no i'm not gonna yeah, like no. i'm not gonna softball things here you crazy, you know. bro? You imagine if like they sent us like a copy of like here's Assassin's Creed Polish edition or yeah. something. Like I wonder if anyone has ever been like you could take it back. How do I send it back to you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I I I I'd love it if somebody would just like fucking if you don't take this back, I'm just going to record a video of me like pissing on it. And just <laughs> Yeah, and that just delivers. <laughs> I can appreciate it though when someone does send someone can some kind of like copy mm-hmm. or review copy and says like, "Yo, you could do whatever you want. You could say whatever you want." Yeah, and those are usually like smaller like developers. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, you could do whatever you want, dude. Like, you could shit on the game, whatever." I can appreciate that, but like you know, there's other companies that just be like, yeah, "No, they know, don't." We only send it to guys that play ball. <laughs> I know? did want to. I did want to talk to you about something because I I um. I had just finished having a conversation with my Mm brother-in-law and he plays a lot of call of duty Warzone, Mm -hmm. And, uh, he's always been playing the franchise. He's always been, you know, on and off of it, but Warzone got him back. Okay. And you know how Warzone has this cross play. Now you're playing against PC players as well. Right. So he was telling me about like, yeah, bro. Like it's horrible. Like there are so many people that just cheat. And there's so many people that use exploits uh, throughout, like, these matches. And I'm like, this can't be, like, yeah. what? You know, I, I personally, that I've seen, mm-hmm. I haven't run into any. I Actually, I haven't run into any cheating at all. Really? In, 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 in that game. Maybe I've had, like, a couple, like, weird situations happen. Yeah. But nothing where I can definitively say, like, that person is cheating. Okay. You know, um, it's a possibility that it's going on out there. Maybe he's just a bad player. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And I've had this argument with him before. Tell him to like, watch this episode. <laughs> I was like, tell him to come see me. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I told him, I was like, yo, boss and keyboard, my guy, that shit is like, that is the way, bro. That, like, that's, 
I've never believed it before, but man, like it is just yeah. on a different level. Yeah. And I've heard arguments about like the new generation of like players mm -hmm. where like a lot of people are now like accusing a lot of people of cheating, but it's just that like the younger players are now more just in tune with it. Like yeah. they could just fucking like, they pick it up like this. Yeah. There's aim assist that you could play on your off time yeah. to help you with your aim and, and these motherfuckers are killers yeah. out there. They're, they're, I mean, that's that is. I mean, mouse and keyboard. Like that's like for. I, I always applaud the people that can play mouse and keyboard. I cannot do that. I, I just can't fathom that, that. You know, but like the people that can play that, like kudos for you. Um, especially when you have the option to just play on a controller, right? You can take yeah. that easy road out. But like if you if you take the time, mm -hmm. you put the time into like playing mouse and keyboard, especially on a shooter, like that can work wonders for you. Oh yeah. I just I just can't. Uh, it's just not that's that's one of the reasons why i started playing valorant as heavy as i as i as mm -hmm. i started playing it it wasn't necessarily because i liked the game but it was because it would give me more of a grasp on how to like aim with this mm -hmm. so like i felt something like call of duty like warzone would have been like overload for me i would have been fucking just scrubbing out all over the place because a lot yeah. of it is tactics like you have to go out there and search for other people battle royales are a different breed i'm not even gonna touch those but Val Valorant was more my speed because it's five on five and it's round based. So I was like, all right, cool. Like I could get my shit in here and there. I could I could kind of like hone my skills. Uh, but uh, besides that, I did read up something about that whole uh, like Call of Duty cheating thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was reading this post on Reddit and this is on the subreddit. And apparently there's tons of players that like themed on this game and they were like, yo, this shit is real. So apparently there's a website that you can pay $12 to and it'll give you like 24 hour access to like just all the kind of like hacks and stuff like that, like aimbots and all that stuff. Okay. So this guy had bought one just so that he could scope out the people that were using it. And this guy played over a seven hour period. So in his findings in seven hours, he had seen that pretty much in whatever game that he was in almost 80 percent of the trio squads mm -hmm. had at least one person that was using these exploits oh wow over 80 percent and he was like this is like now you know like this is this is a bad thing yeah and he's calling you know um i think it was infinity ward right no right uh yeah and not activision Act activision he's calling activision to do something about this and he's like, yeah, listen, like, this is killing the game. With $12, I was able to effectively kill the experience for over 147 people that I killed and I encountered just because I was playing in an unfair way. Mm -hmm. This is not fair, and this shouldn't be going on. You guys should be doing something yeah, about this. Developed by Infinity Ward. So, so how do you how, how do you feel about something like that? Like, I, I wanted to get your opinion because yeah. you play this game pretty often. I mean, I... I because I know what, what a lot... I don't know what they do with their cheaters. I don't know if it's just a ban, if they mm -hmm. catch them or whatever. I know some some places, uh, some so with some games, uh, they'll just toss you into a lobby with other cheaters and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So when I hear it's such a high number, that's crazy. But if it was just like one guy, then that's, you know, per team or something yeah. like that, then that's not like egregious, right? Maybe you just have a bunch of cheaters in there. Um, what was the butt end of, of, uh, of your, of your question? I'm sorry. No, I'm saying Just like, so how I... do you, how do you feel about, you know, the, the, the rampant cheating? Like, cause I hear like complaints about other people yeah. where they're like, at this point they need to just put in so much money and work to yeah. try to like figure out what the hell kind of, you know, could they could do to fix this. Yeah. They, I mean, they certainly need to do something about it. Right. But mm -hmm. what that thing is, that's uh, entirely up to them, how they handle it. Do they take these guys and put them in a lobby of their own? Mm -hmm. Or do they ban them? Yeah. You know, what's what's the appropriate thing here to do? Because I don't think the old school thing of, like, banning people is necessarily the way to go anymore. Really? I th I, yeah, I think they should just go ahead and throw these guys into their own lobby and let them suffer in their own cesspool uh, <laughs> rather than, than banning them. Or you, or you ban them. Do, do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, as for the cheating, again, I haven't run into too much that I know of that mm -hmm. I was able to, to tell. Um, it sucks that it's 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 going on. This, yeah. The 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 stuff is out there, right? The, you know, so the software's up there. You got individuals like get getting the stuff and uh, making everyone else's experience like crap. But I don't get where it's fun. 
that's where I'm always lost with the cheating part. How is it fun for you? What what are you what are you what are you getting out of it? Like it's not real success. Yeah. So that's that's the part that's always like bugged me. I'm uh, guessing that it. it's 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 pretty much just like shitty people just like, mm-hmm. hey, I'm gonna go ruin the days yeah. of all these other people that are playing this game and I'm just gonna fuck around and the the I'm a troll mm-hmm. aspect, you get what I'm saying? Like that kind of bullshit. Like I'm assuming it's yeah. it's a lot of that going on. But you're absolutely right, because I do question that as well. It's not real success. It's not. I I just don't see where where it's fun for anyone. And it could just be it, it, not just in this game and like any game. If yeah. you're just cheat if you're just cheating, like I don't get where you, you just remove the experience for yourself, right? Mm-hmm. So I I started playing uh Resident Evil too. Yeah. Right, and you can buy the key to get the unlockables for the end, like t- stuff that's typically end game content, you know, infinite ammo, rocket launcher, infinite ammo, machine gun, whatever. I got the key, and I have access to those things. I'm not using those things. Yeah, you know, so because I, I don't know the part of the reason why I got it is because I don't know what it's gonna take to unlock some of those things. I don't know if you get all those things when you beat the the game, yeah. or if you unlock those things. After you play it in hard mode or whatever other mode, I'm making my first run through without any of that stuff, basically. Mm. So the only thing I'm using is the uh, the knife, okay? Because you get a knife that does not break. Right, in, yeah. in this game, you can get a knife and the knives do break. The only thing I'm using because after I didn't want to use it either. I wanted to just get natural natural experience, but I thought it was a shitty thing to do to put knife in the game and then have it break on you. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's I think I think it's stupid. I don't think it was a necessary a necessary mechanic, but whatever. Yeah. But uh, it it, it 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 just takes away from the experience, and I don't see the point in playing a game if you're just gonna cheat when you play it. There's no real success in in, in the game. The knife thing, I I, th- I definitely agree to uh, agree with you yeah, because uh, there was a there's a situation where like Last of Us. Uh, in Last of Us One, um, you're introduced to like these clickers, mm-hmm. and they're like these like advanced breed of the of uh, whatever the hell they are, and basically the only way to kill them is like they're bullet sponges, so they're gonna take a lot of fucking bullets, or you can sneak up to them and like stab them with a shiv, like mm-hmm. in the neck. Yeah. So uh, in that game, that shit was super annoying because the shivs were one time use. So you had to keep crafting them. Yeah. But in part two, they made it so that you had a permanent knife that you could always shiv, which is like, I was like, this is a fucking, this, yeah. this, this is a quality of life thing. Like yeah. <laughs> you, you fix my quality of life. At yeah. This point. I, I have, I do have things like my, my mm-hmm. issues though with resident evil, but I don't know. Uh, I guess to bring around, like, I, I don't know. Like how have you de- like, the only time I've experienced like cheating was like back in the day when I was playing certain COD games. Then maybe I would experience cheating here and there. This is probably the only Call of Duty game where I so far yeah. have yet to experience any cheating. Okay. I don't know if it's because of the fact that I'm playing on console, but I've always been playing on console. Yeah. But I've experienced cheating in other aspects too. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't know I don't know what the cause you know. Yeah. I don't know if there's any kind of like weird change. But um, it was the crossplay. I feel like the crossplay. I think was definitely the crossplay the... can definitely ruin the experience because yeah. now the crossplay is not a matter. It's not a matter of PC gamers ruining the experience for one another. It's a matter of the PC gamers ruining the experience for a lot of other people too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, or any people that aren't in that person's lobby or in those person's lobby. Mm-hmm. You know, agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, cheating sucks. I don't think anyone yeah. should uh, uh, should do it. Um. At yes. that point, if you're wasting twelve dollars to cheat on fucking Call of Duty <laughs> Warzone, like, and then the whole package, if you want to like cheat for life, yeah, it's like a hundred and twenty dollars. So it's like, yeah, you're spending this much money, bro. What? What's wrong? It's with It's not you? worth it to spend the, the money to spend that much money for for um to get access to cheating for a month, and then to spend a hundred and change. So you can keep continue to cheat for a game that's not going to be worth cheating in anymore somewhere down the road. Yep. It just doesn't make any sense in the short or long term. It's just stupid. Get um, your fucking priorities. Straight. I know there was a guy who who made kind of like this like fake like cheating website. Mm. I don't know if you're familiar with the story or not. So he made like a uh, like a you know a uh, a website where you could get cheats off of, and it's like on Counter Strike I think, and. Basically, if you got his cheats, you know, the cheats, you know, you can do this, you can do that, blah, blah, blah. But these cheats in reality weren't any of those things. So what he did was that those cheats would now do things that would fuck you up. (laughs) 
<laughs> so basically, if you entered a certain part of the map, it would kind of freeze you in place. And then it would <laughs> set your, I think, your your mouse, like your your um, your sensitivity to like 100% or some shit. So like everything you did was fucking like 100%. <laughs> I love that. And then it would. It, he also had other ones where it would make it so that um, there was a 50% chance of, like, if you were firing your gun, it would just unequip your gun. So your gun would just go flying off your hands. <laughs> yeah, so Stuff cool. like that. So, it, it, so it, and not only that, uh, if you were using his cheats, it set it up so that anytime you entered a, uh, a match, that match is... Uh, that match was automatically recorded and sent to him. So that mm-hmm. way he can just upload those videos to YouTube it's just, and just like this guy is show a everybody. fucking genius. Man. That is dope. I, that, that's what, that's what I love about like the, the PC gaming community mm-hmm. that they just do like shit like this. Just like, I feel like doing this. Yeah. Like- <laughs> just because I can. But like it's cool though, like that guy kind of gets justice, like for yeah. for like for people like that have to deal with cheaters in some way. But you know what? I, I wish stuff like that was a little bit more common. You know, yes. just those guys out there trying to get justice for everybody else. Yeah.